Hi, I'm about to show you how to factor quadratic equations when the a value is something other than one. And this is something called the airplane method of factoring, of factoring quadratic equations. Okay, so when do we use this method? Let's just take a look at a few quadratic equations and see whether or not we would want to use this method. So the first one, we would not want to use the method since the a value is one, it's the coefficient of x squared. The second one, even though the a value is two, look at the other values. We have negative 20 and 16, they're both divisible by two, so we wouldn't need this method for this problem. But then the third one, we have three x squared, but then notice that negative 16 and, and isn't divisible by three, so this would be perfect for using this way of factoring. Okay, so let's solve this type of problem using this airplane method. You could use the AC method or you could use guess and check, but this provides an alternative way to solving it. I like it, it's a bit faster than the AC method. Okay, so we're gonna start out by multiplying the A and the C, C terms together. So in this case, grab a color. We know that the A term is the coefficient of X squared, which is three, and my C term is the is the constant term which is negative 12. So when we can we're going to multiply those two together, so we're going to get negative 36. So now we're going to find factors of negative 36 that add to give us our middle term of negative 16. So we want to be aware of this type of signs we're looking at in this problem. So we know that this last term here is negative 12. And so numbers are multiplying to give us negative 12. It must mean that the signs are different. One is positive and one is negative. And then this will give us a clue now. We look at this sign and we know that the, the sign of the larger number is going to be negative. Okay, so when we're looking for factors of negative 36, I like to list them in order. So we're gonna start with one, one and 36, remembering that the larger number has to be negative. And then I'm gonna add those two together to get negative 35. We're not gonna use those because we want negative 16. So let's go on to the next one. So that would be two and negative 18, which would give me negative 16. And those are the numbers that we need. So then our next step is going to be to write the two factors by using the a term in the beginning of both of the parentheses and then the factors that we chose from the last step. So this is gonna seem like this is a little crazy. We know that there can't be a three X in both of these parentheses. So just bear with me to start with. My three X is appearing in both of them. And then my positive two and my negative 18 is going to, are gonna go as those last terms. The order doesn't matter there. Now, this is why it's called the airplane method, because what we're gonna do is we are gonna land the plane. We're landing the plane right now. We, we know that one of these threes is wrong, so we're gonna divide by three to get rid of it. So that's the landing part. And then what we're gonna do is divide, and we're gonna reduce, and then we're gonna solve it. So one of these parentheses is going to be divisible by three, and it's clearly not the first one. So that's one of our factors. And now the second one, both numbers are divisible by three. So I'm going to go ahead and divide that. So I'm going to get three divided by three is one. So one X, but we don't need the one. So just X minus 18 divided by three is going to give us six. So there are our factors. Don't forget that we have to solve this. So now we're looking for the solution. So we're gonna set both of them equal to zero and solve them. So X minus six is equal to zero. If we solve it, we get X is equal to six. And don't forget to divide by three on this one. So my solution is gonna be negative last number over first number. And those are my two answers. I've got negative two thirds and positive six. I like this method, and um, with a little bit of practice, I think you'll like it too. Um, it's a lot quicker than the AC method. That last part like really cuts down on the time. All right, so let's do another example. This one is a little bit different at the end, and you'll see why. All right, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna take the AC and C terms and multiply them together. So we know that the coefficient of X squared is six. The constant term is negative 35. So now when we multiply them together, six times by negative 35, I'm gonna get 210. 
And now I'm looking here. I know that the signs are different again, and the larger number is also going to be negative. All right, so 210. Now, this one is going to take a while. <coughs> and I chose this number because I want to show you that you just kind of have to persevere with some of them. So it's the factors are going to be 1 and negative 210, which we won't use. 2 and negative 105. Then 3 and negative 70. Can't use that. And then 4. Four we can't use, so we have to go to five and negative 42. Still won't work because we're looking for the two numbers to um, add together to give me negative one. So really that's telling me that my numbers are going to be consecutive. Um, and that would be six and negative 35 wouldn't work. Seven and 30 still wouldn't work. But you should see that when you add them, the numbers are getting closer together. 10 and negative 21 won't work. Um, but what about 14 and negative 15? <coughs> now, those are the numbers that we're going to need. So now we're going to write the two terms by using the A value in the beginning. So the A value was 6. So we're going to have 6x in, both, in front of both of them. And then we're going to write in our numbers as positive 14 and negative 15 in the end. Now there's the landing of the plane. Look what happens in this example. We're dividing by 6, but now 14 isn't divisible by 6 and 15 isn't divisible by 6. So when you get this situation, you just have an extra step. I'm going to change colors to show you this. <coughs> so instead of using 6, I'm going to cross this out. And factors of 6 are 3 and 2. Now what we're going to do is take one of them and divide by three, and that would be the second parentheses here. So six divided by three is two X, negative 15 divided by three is negative five. And then the other one will be divisible by the other number, which is two in this case. So six X divided by two is gonna give me three X, and 14 divided by two is gonna give me positive seven. So there I have my factors. And of course, I've got to solve this, so I'm setting it equal to zero. I'm going to use the quick way of getting my factors as taking the opposite of the sign, so positive 5 dividing it by the first term, or the first coefficient, which is 2, so positive 5 over 2. And then my other solution is going to be negative 7 divided by 3. And there we have our solutions. I hope this helps you.